All right. I'm out of here, dude. Yeah? You're getting weird. I got to wet the whistle. Yeah? Yeah. We got it coming to you live in 4K. <laughs> Oh, yeah. so you started that earlier. We're catching uh, Jerry's pre-pod uh, <laughs> rituals. Meditation. The pre-pod rituals. Go ahead, continue. Sorry. No, I'm good. I'm ready. You good? I'm tired. Is, We're good. Is Jerry acting like he did something today to make yeah. him tired? I didn't. This is Jerry after one shift. Yeah. Yes. Well, listen. <laughs> after one hockey shift. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a little deeper into the rescue review uh, today. Yeah, that's what she. You don't go deep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now is a good time for my bit. What is I it? I try. I was excited to have. An actual person knowledgeable in Rusty. Oh. <laughs> so our Rusty review can, uh, can, can, uh, <laughs> sorry, bud. That can was my bit. Jersey, bit of the week. <laughs> yeah. The beeves. I don't even think you like the beavers, dude, honestly. Hit it. Welcome to Inside the U, the ultimate adult hockey podcast. I'm here with Late Larry. Yo. You've been late lately. How? He was late today. You've been late to a couple places. I was real late today. It yeah. was tough. Yeah, but to be fair, you were early, and then you ditched us. So, that's... Eh. Me? Yes, you. I'm le- I was early, at least. That was a confusing that yeah. was a confusing few hours there for us. Jerry yeah. the Greek. How you guys doing? Live in 4K? Yes. Hi. Say hi to Jerry. Hi. Ew. They can see me. They're going to stop watching. Yeah, they, they dude, they are. Now yeah, they could see all this. High def, dude. They're awesome. going to lost the audience. And uh, a special guest, another Dusty Beaver. Yes. Brian Auger. We'll get Yo, in, what up, dude? We'll get, we'll, we'll get into him, though. We'll get into him. You're not getting into me. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Auger. Love all it. Right. What's up, Larry? Shall I? Maybe. What's up, boys? Welcome to Inside the U, the ultimate adult hockey podcast. Each week, we're bringing insider topics, special guests, and slight entertainment from the world of adult hockey, along with discussions and updates around, <laughs> around our league. I am Larry, joined as usual by Steve and Jerry the Greek. And like Steve said, we have a very special guest, Dusty Beaver, legend in the making, <laughs> Brian Auger. Of course, we have much more to get into as well, including checking in on this week's U Madness. Oh, no. It's okay. madness. Great right. bit. Right, yes. uh, we're announcing October's <laughs> Players of the Month, recapping week eight and previewing week nine of the fall 2023 season, plus, of course, much more. But before we get into all that, I would like to ask you guys if you could do just one thing. Um, we want to get the community involved, so consider leaving a question you have about the league, the U crew, or anything really um, in the Q&A section of Spotify or in the comments on YouTube. We would greatly appreciate that. I got one shout out. Um, yeah, I got one shout out this week. Uh, Carol. Chiming in on our costumes from last from last episode, basically said mine was the best, dude. I don't, no, th- I don't think he no did. one said no one said yours was the best. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear got a ton of uh, credit. You mean one yes. person? Which, well, I, you know, offline, I got a lot of offline <laughs> uh, nods, which is the, ironically gives the credit to you guys. Yeah, it does because actually. you're the ones that picked it. So, yeah, so you're welcome. Great pick, guys. <laughs> Great pick. You look good in that yeah. Buzz Lightyear costume. Thanks, guys. guys. Look beautiful. Yes, yeah, yeah. it was fun. Thank yeah. you. Good thing Halloween I came and went. Yeah. That was the only the only time I dressed up in a costume this Halloween was for the podcast. Really? I didn't know what you yeah. were, and you had the most accessories, and then you said you were a pirate. I thought you were <laughs> you a ninja what the I was? entire time. A ninja? Ninja would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. Like, cover half your face? I did. We had so many accessories. That would have been cool. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I'm glad the, the picture you posted, um, we, we had to crop because it was a little too... Uh, <laughs> Come on, ra- dude. It was a little on, too dude. rated R. Come on, bro. No one needed to know that, man. Listen, man, my buzz was light year, and you know, oh. it's like, <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. bit is this, dude? It's kind of, dude. So we're back in regular fits for this week. Yeah, can we talk about my pumpkins though? Um, we can talk about whatever you want, dude. dude. I worked pumpkins. hard on those. What did we we posted it. I did a post them. Yeah, you the did. UHL carving. Yeah, remember, like, remember how much? Cr- num- yeah, people liked it. The Jack U <laughs> lanterns. Yeah, yeah. Remember, I, remember I, he was he was begging for credit on dude, those. We were tr- like, all right, Jerry, they're you, okay, I guess. You guys were ignoring. Little did he know, I was planning to post a, post I them. No, but I appreciate it. You got to let me cook, dude. Yeah, sorry. You the know ja- this. The Jack U lanterns. Um, maybe maybe next time we have a little competition. So, all right, boys, we're back for episode eight here. Can you believe it? Wow, eight previewing week nine of the season. Let's go. Um, I just cracked this beer, but proceed, my friend. I think we're ready. I'm thirsty. Yeah. All right. So Dusty's Brew of the Week is brought to you by Glastown Brewing Company, which is proudly brewed in Millville, New Jersey. This beer brought to you by our guest. Thank wow. you, Brian. Great contribution. Is uh, called Neon Stars, a 5.7% 
um, IPA, right? Or no? Yeah, IPA. Yeah. All right. So this IPA is brewed with cryo pop blend, talus. Don't know what that is. And double dry hopped with, again, talus hops. Bright and citrusy with notes of tangerine and clementine. So a little orangey. Okay. I like okay. that. I always, uh, there you go. I never like double hopped beer. I don't even know what that means, but I know that when I drink it, I don't like it. Well, this is with cryo double hopped. Double dry hop. All right. I don't know what that means, but so probably you're, stop doing it. You're going to have to give us a... Uh, I'm going to have you go first, so you're not influenced by everybody, anybody else. And this is what you brought, too. So let's... Uh, ooh. It's got a strange aftertaste, but okay. the initial taste is good. It's stinks. not like a... Okay. Okay. Well, who said it stinks? Did you say it stinks? All right. Oh, no, he... he I've either. watched the show. Okay. I'm giving it a 6-8. Wow. 6-8. Tell us where, where this... Uh, um, that's brewery strong, is dude. you were telling me earlier it's, it's pretty- in millville it's a microbrewery in uh an airport so which is kind of cool if you want to catch a flight or a brew a brew speaking of <clears throat> so um not Ooh, to detour okay. too quick Damn. detours but i was in my backyard like uh maybe two or three weeks ago okay saw, this going? saw a pj flying over low <laughs> So I know he was landing at Millville. Yeah. It was Tiger Woods, dude. Oh, really? Nice was it? Where was he sick. going? To Pine Hill? Or where was he going? Well, they're building that course yeah, right yeah. down the street. Are they? Best him, slap shot on the green, dude. Him and yeah, uh, Trout, building, right? Yeah, him and Mike yeah. Trout are, are... Oh, I did see that. They're right. a, like, legit That's private cool. course. It was something like... Private. Um, dude, it's like 200 grand a year to join. <laughs> That's see, dude? It. That's why I got it. Connection to golf. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but uh, How nice was the PJ, though? It was nice. Yeah. Honestly, I was looking at it, and I was like, one day. You know? <laughs> Did you take the 4K cami out there? Get, sh- get some detail on it? Oh, you could have zoomed in, see Tiger. You didn't approve it by then, but. That's true. <clears throat> um, I don't get to do anything, dude. I just wanted to say, because I wanted to cover that before, but um, 4K cami, inbound. It, yeah. uh, game of the week has been upgraded. It does. Let me it, just say it, that. It, yeah. More features to come <clears throat> in the All Star Game. Proceed with Brew of the Week. Sorry, just wanted to throw that. All right, so we got a six eight. Come on. We got okay. We got a six eight. <laughs> Wait, do you guys count the the design? Because I literally grabbed it because you guys talk yeah, about I cans. Mean, yeah, that goes in. That goes into your vote, dude. Yeah, I love some nice cans, dude. <laughs> Listen, the, the the can the can is I would say a like a a point one or two. Swing. I'll give it a six nine, dude. Nice. Honestly, it looks like minimal effort, dude. Looks like they got some silver cans and just slapped a sticker on, man. It looks wow. very retro. The opposite it looks very way. 90s, right? I do like it, but... It's like a light bright. Again, Remember light effort. brights? Do you guys ever have a light bright? Doesn't it look like a light bright? Light bright? Light bright. Light bright? I just had to hold back Oof. saying something that would have got ex- canceled. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to go 6-8. I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, uh, I, just, I don't I, like it. I don't either. Uh, I, I'm going to say 6-5. What did okay. you say? 6-8. Um... Let's see. I'll do seven one. Ooh, make it nice and easy. Six eight is so true, but I don't want to do three six eight. So. Listen, man, you got to see divided by four. It's good. By four. By the four. first, the first sip, I was like, oh, and then you know, one two three four. I did six eight because two people said six eight, so you don't need to add that, Jer. Oh my god. Okay, math. It's basic see? math, dude. Fun. I said seven one on purpose. Let's put it that way. Okay. So what was the score? Six eight. It's a fucking six eight. Over here, yeah, six eight. <laughs> Beautiful. Good, not great. Yeah, good, good, not great. Not it may great. not even be good. Actually, I'm liking you more. guys are being nice, calling it good. <laughs> yeah, you just, you, I'm not a fan. I, I thought know. you had some sort of connection to this coming in. I guess not. Uh, I went to the liquor store and saw it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is yeah. like probably, what, 15 minutes from here? Well, I was about to say, yeah, it's, it's super local. close. Yeah, it's, it's like super close. close. Yeah. They have uh, really good IPAs. Uh, 856 is a really good one. It's Way better than this. It's 609. Um, they got a bunch of good stuff. Yeah, they have the some Danky really good Kong, stuff. Yeah. Yankee Kong Jr. or something is really good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so this Kong, is an unfair Danky representation. Kong, okay. So that's fine. That, that's, that's Those fair. cans are sick as fuck. So we'll get, we'll, yeah. we'll try, we'll try, we'll try Glass Town again. I'm down. <laughs> and then we'll get one that you guys like. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. All right. I'm enjoying this. Dude, so 0 for 2 with viewer recommendations then. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. But yeah. it's all right. Yeah. Listen, we'll get there. All right. So. What do you say we jump into all about you? I'm excited. You talked a lot, um, a yeah, lot of game ahead. on this. No, you know, I did it. I, all I, out. I did it quick. I did it quick. So I was uh, excited that I was done with it. Um, 
you did it quick. <laughs> minimum effort. Dude. Yeah, I was minimum say, is this something Jerry. new or no, not? Minimum effort. I was just like, we talked about. I, I did it quick. Our, <laughs> no, we t- well, we talk about our guests, and then I start my prep, and uh, you know, I was done. And I was like, all right, this was is, it done on a napkin? It was not on a napkin, but yeah, I did I write see our. I don't see that on here. Agenda <laughs> on that. All right, so all about you is our segment where we take a few minutes to ask our guests a couple questions. Uh, hopefully, learn something about them and possibly make them a little uncomfortable. I know all I need, all I need to know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So tonight we have a very special guest. He is the kind of guest that will bring any storm a ray of sunshine. <laughs> he is both the definition and the essence of the rusty division. Off the ice, he's as gentle as a lamb, but on the ice, he explodes like a roar <laughs> from a lion. <laughs> He is built like a bear with the heart of a beaver. We have here the Burt to my Ernie, the cream to my coffee, the alternate on paper, but captain of our hearts. Please welcome my partner on defense, Brian, the bogger. Auger, round of applause. So I heard about explosions well and cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there were some questionable stuff up. in there. That's yep. what Jerry's mind was. You know, Listen, cool. this, is, this, is what it, this is what it is. I think about you, man. You're built like a bear. Look at <laughs> Whoa. you. You're, you're a bear, yeah, you but you got the heart it, of a beaver. He's got heart out there. Yeah. And he's a true beaver, right? I was going to say, you started off slow there, and I was waiting for a letdown. I was waiting for a major letdown, and you, <laughs> you, you brought it home. Thank yeah. you. Put it that way. Explodes. Uh, like you exploded with that <laughs> of wow. a lion because he does man he gets out there he's he's checking people i think he did he, check a lot of people you throw he it has, on hippers dude no has, dude it's one person and it's an accident <laughs> every time. just the same guy every same time guy. i feel so fucking bad <laughs> oh, no. um listen oh, i i can't fault your effort so that's why i it it's in there huh? it's in there my friend and the heart of a beaver so um and yeah he is the alternate right so one five, yeah. but he's the captain of our hearts <laughs> one in five yeah all like right so thanks for joining us brian um and welcome to you headquarters yeah uh, it's an honor to see what goes on behind the scenes yes. <laughs> it's interesting all right so let's start <laughs> it's interesting with uh when and how you started playing hockey uh so steve uh, i've been friends with steve for a while uh, sorry, sorry to hear that. Yeah, long time. Met him in seventh Tough. grade. Uh, he always talked about hockey, and I did not care about it. I was a uh, typical long hair emo kid. Didn't care. He brought me to my very first game, and uh, Mike Richards like demolished a guy on the Sharks, and I remember flipping out and going, oh, my God, somebody fucking died. <laughs> and people around us were like losing their shit because they thought the guy was dead. Yeah. And I don't know if you remember this game. Like They had to stretcher the guy out, and I was like, I dude, do. what the fuck did you bring me to? <laughs> so, yeah, you're freaking out. In, I, I was losing my mind. Everybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was losing my <laughs> really? mind. Really? So that was like my first hockey how, experience. How old were you guys? Uh, like, probably like high school age. Okay. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> he brought me to open hockey a couple times, and I could not stand. I couldn't do anything. I wanted to try to get into it. We were probably like – early 20s then i think steve was getting back into it and i just there was no programs around so uh then when you guys started rusty up he hit me up and he said hey uh jerry the tall fucking guy from basketball (laughs) is playing so you know he's gonna look ridiculous you Mm -hmm. should come look ridiculous too (laughs) love it and, and look at sense. us. Look at us on D now. Look at us. Captain. Captain. What a bitch. Look at the D, dude. Captain. Captain. Look at, us. Captain look at us. Nice. Is it assistant or alternate? I always said alternate. Is it assistant? Assistant captain? I thought it was uh, alternate. Captain. I think it's it's both, I think. It's it's all yeah, alternate, but it's rusty, dude. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You got the A. And it ain't for Augur. That's what's up, dude. Okay. It could be for Augur if you it want. It could be for Augur if you want. Or adultery. I don't know. Um <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> Not, not <laughs> the scarlet letter not all right here, so uh we all know how i feel about the rusty division right you hate it but, what? <laughs> but yeah. you have been playing open hockey and learn to plays at other ranks um what are your what, what's your opinion about our division and what's the vibe coming from other players that maybe are in the division and aren't in the division so you play our level with players all around so yeah so i didn't know what to expect um the first couple times I came out, I was really nervous because I was wondering, okay, am I going to go out here and embarrass myself? And I did, but everyone was. Yeah. So, like, everyone yeah. out there was. It was the same vibe. Yeah, yeah. I, I went out, and I think, like, the first time I skated towards the puck, I just ate shit. <laughs> um, but then everyone else ate shit, too. <laughs> and, like, I remember uh, listening to you guys talking about the change from week one to week two. 
And I got to see that too with yeah. our team. It was it was super cool. And uh, even like it was just the Beavers and the Wolves at the time. And even watching them, they stepped it up. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been super cool. You guys did a uh, learn to skate kind of thing. Um, Nat uh, facilitated that. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. Like I hope you guys do something like that again. Mini I've, camps. Yeah, I've I've, uh, I've gone to a couple other ones. I think I was telling you guys at dinner. I yeah. I maybe invested like. One hundred seventy-five dollars, and went to three of the twelve because they just. Oh, there was are, twelve. Yeah, oh, wow. they're just not not great. Yeah, um, yeah. But you guys even got teams from there. Yeah. Um I, I was. I remember the first one I went to at another uh, clinic, and I heard the players talking about this league, the U, and everybody wanted to sign up. And I'm like, Yo, I know those fucking idiots. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but I was like, Yo, I know those guys. Those, those guys are great. Come yeah. on over. I was like, I'm in it. Uh, I don't know how to play though. And they're like, nah, we don't either. Now, <laughs> now they're shitting on us in fucking yeah. Rusty Division. Yeah, they it's did awesome. come over, which it's is awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, great. Well, that's all positive stuff, which I love to hear. So, Good, dude. All right. <laughs> so, um, I always ask about the numbers. You guys know I like numbers. Um, how'd you settle on number four? Right? Uh, was that your um, number? Jersey his jersey number. Yeah, gotcha. I'm sorry. It's not even his jersey number. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it is. No, my, my new number is 89. Good job, Cap. <laughs> come on, Cap. Is it really? Mm hmm. <laughs> Shoot, I completely went Bits. off the wrong roster. You spent four. Dude, you that's because be the first season. Because you told me four. Well, the first season we were limited in numbers. And then okay. this season we got to pick our numbers. And then you're 89. And I'm 89. Okay, so actually, no, you know what? That is a great segue. So why yes. did you go? Did, was four special to you or Fuck no? no? All right, so 89. <laughs> it was me. the only Fuck double no. XL, dude. I needed a big uh, jersey, dude. That's fair. But All 89 right. is. 89. And I Talk got to Bogger me. put on my name because yes, me and thing. this guy and another Dusty Beaver, Joe, um, you know, a little awkward fella. Um, <laughs> we used to play NHL all the time, and we had a, a team called Yo. the Finger Blasters. <laughs> and yeah. I was Bogger 89. Yeah, and uh, incredible. And we, we won the chip, dude. Best team I was ever on. Sorry, Beavers. Uh, but... Yeah, can I? Can E-A-S-H-L. I? I was gonna say, was it EASHL yeah. where you yeah. guys play as your own player? Because yeah, that dude. shit was the most fun yeah. ever. It was, it was so, so much fun, fun. Yeah. ever. We do like twenty three, just <laughs> shitting on thirteen year old kids. Bro. You know, oh. you know what they're calling us and saying they're doing to our moms, dude. dude we should get, we should get, we should <laughs> get that, that rolling, dude. Is. That'd be a lot of fun. I That's NHL fun. online is so much fun. Did you see what Hunter did today? No, what. Hunter made a whole Hawks mascot in in NHL. Did he really? Yeah, he's got like he made the Hawks jersey. In oh my NHL. god! Did he? That's yeah. awesome. So How did you shit on me at open hockey? Yeah, Hunter. Hey, does you stopped that. him once. Yeah, he <laughs> did twenty good. times. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's yeah. So yeah. that's how that's Pretty how you got eighty nine just from the. Well, it's my birth year. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so I was just so very like generic, Crosby, dude. Yeah. Very okay. generic. Very cool. All right. So I apologize for that because I went off uh, the wrong roster. It's all right, dude. I'm, your, I'm the it's cream right, of your coffee. You are the cream to my coffee. It's adorable. Dusty Beaver love, dude. I know. I know. <laughs> are you guys it, pairs out there? You guys like partners? Yeah. So we, we kind of rotate. So um, we do get on the ice a lot together. So Okay. Yeah. And we have a good system because he knows that I like to, when I take the puck, I like to, you know, push forward and he kind of hangs back and kind of covers the middle a little too slow to get up there so (laughs) So when i take it up he knows to to come back so we don't we try not to get trapped just say i'm stay at home d dude try yeah yeah we try okay we're rusty man i'm glad you guys have a good system (laughs) yeah yeah, glad you guys have a good system yeah we do we do i mean that's pretty much what we do i just i'm waiting for it to show up in the w column that's all (sighs) all right sorry yeah one little dude we're gonna get there i expect so much out of the Dusty Beaver. I know, dude. I know. So much. Hey, Listen, representing the U here. Seriously, it's dude. a rebuilding year. We're out there, dude. I'm grinding. Your second season. So your jersey has a beaver with a jersey. I know. On with the UHL logo on it. It's yeah. a jersey with on a jersey. It's a bit. <laughs> yeah. It's a so, bit. It is a true bit with it a bit. Yeah. Listen, we're trying. I mean, like I said, we're we're learning. Um, but we're like the most, you know, fundamental rusty team it's yes, all people yeah i mean with the exception of maybe three people no one's ever yeah. skated or played yeah. hockey before the other teams like you have guys that are a little older and you know they've played regularly they've played at holly dell on teams uh like dexter they've come in and 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 they're great uh well 
you know, yeah. great for Rusty. Uh, but then you have other people who, like, they're playing with their friends. We are the one true team. Nobody yeah, really knew together. each other. Yeah. Um, like, That's we true. knew Steve and Jerry, and, like, he got a couple of us who have not ever played before, so we're all truly learning yeah. how to skate. Yeah. And you guys play. are the true Rusty essence. It's yeah. all in good fun. I, I, yeah, I, we, we are, and, and that's yeah. why I'm okay with as long as we show improvement. It's um, all, you guys are always in close games, too, right? They, they are always yeah. close. Yeah. yeah, Scores are close. Yeah. Well, so we've got a fucking great goalie. Yeah, yeah, we got a good goalie. He that helps. That helps. He definitely keeps us in the games. I mean, we we need a little do more. Uh, we need to do a Oh, my goodness. Just got to figure out how to put the puck in the net, you know? I got to figure out how to talk first. Uh, we Bucks need to do deep. a little more. Bucks yeah, and deep, yeah. Offense. Butts in <laughs> net. Butts um, in net and butts in seats, dude. There you go. Yeah. It's, the problem is they don't hate losing. Yeah. They oh, don't hate okay. losing. Okay. That's, That's a big problem. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, so. Proceed, sir. I love it. So I apologize. And you know what stinks? Because I had a pretty good joke for the number four. Just do it anyway, dude. All right, dude. So I picked number four. Number four. Okay. So <laughs> so how'd you settle on number four? Was four that inches. your number on another in another sport? or That's my that length on a good day, dude. The max <laughs> inches of something that you wanted to brag about. Because that's why I'm number 10. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so, dude. You're good. like six foot eight. Dude. I didn't know where you were going. You're though. like six foot eight, dude. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I'm number ten. Right. That's what I, I was mean. actually upset with that yeah. lame part of the joke, and then you railed it in. Yeah, you, so you really are. Just you're just. I'm all over the place. Today. Two knee that. slappers so, and one joke. Dude. So this is this is what I'm saying. I put you out, and then I reel you back in. Okay, yeah, I like it. All right. So now it is time for some off ice questioning. We've gotten to know each other pretty well over the last couple of years, right? Like you said, we played basketball together. We've had a couple seasons on the ice. Um, but there's always something new to learn. For example, I just found out that both Steve and Larry are huge Celine Dion fans. Right? <laughs> They've been to a couple concerts, and you know they love it. Every week. Dude. So yeah. <laughs> do you also like to go to concerts, or do you have other hobbies or anything like that? Yeah. I uh, talk, play music. Talk to me. Uh, play music. I, I actually, when Steve was in uh, Vineland High School playing hockey at the, the Vineland rink, which you guys have heard a lot about, mm-hmm. Joe and I were playing music in the snack bar. Really shitty music. <laughs> uh, but we've always been like, I've always been a fan of music, playing music, live music. Um, never been really good, but a, a hobby guitar? of mine. Yeah, play guitar. He's a I good can, guitar player. Yeah, I can play a uh, keyboard, bass, a couple nice. of different things. Yeah, Sick. slap so, at the bass. Yeah, played slap in a, at the bass. <laughs> played in a lot of cool venues. Played with a couple bands that were cool in like the um, MySpace days, where you have the long hair and it's like, leave me alone, mom. It's not a phase. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly very that, cool. Dude. So you were playing in the snack bar. Yeah, just yeah. chilling. Like, like they legitimately would have like, like rock shows. You know? shows oh, so like in shows snack in the bar. snack bar. Okay, you know, like people like fighting the air, like the kung fu, kung, nice. like mosh pits and stuff. And like then you, the hockey games would be going on. And yeah, there'd be like kids learning to skate with the little walkers, and <laughs> and then there's us like screaming about our moms not giving us allowance and shit, <laughs> like how and punching each other. Yeah, That's well, awesome. nobody nobody punched each other. They, they punched just the swung air, in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but they just, hit, they connected. I was about to say you better watch out though because I've phased. seen. Yeah, it's, it's not a phase. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean it's no Celine Dion, but no, no, she's got awesome. pipes, dude. She does every night in my dreams, right? No, what the? I don't think so. Is yes, that- it is. Are you kidding? Me? That's a Titanic song. Oh, it's so I funny because his thing you, was. <laughs> I feel you. No. His his thing this was saying that we go to <laughs> Celine Dion concerts, but I couldn't tell you one Celine Dion <laughs> yeah. song, and he just breaks out. That into a full song. is how I know you. I'm starting Come to think on. he likes tea parties too. He does yeah. everything he talks about. I think likes. it's just a project. You know, he projects it all to us. I don't know, guys. Um, it's not all about me. It's all about you. So. <laughs> Okay. Let's just go. All right. All right. It's time for the nod far across right, the on, distance. <laughs> I'm going to edit this out. <laughs> He's got to edit it. First out. edit ever? Yeah. It's time for the nod hockey <laughs> related knuckle puck question. All right. You ready for Ooh, this one? I like that. You All branded right. it. I like that. The knuckle puck question? Knuckle puck. Yeah. All right. So you are stuck. The goalie. On a de- you're nice. On a <laughs> desert island with one person. So you get to choose. If it's your best friend of the same sex, so a male best friend, or the person you hate the most but the opposite sex. Mm. So that's... How long? You're stuck there. The rest of your life. Until I die. Mm-hmm. You're, there's no rescue when you, dude. So your best male friend or a female 
but you can't stand her. So, so this is hard to answer because the the female I hate the most, you know, she good looking. I I think the female everybody hates the most, at least on the guy version. Mm? You know, mm. we've been there. Mm-hmm. You know, well that's my. <laughs> so point, then I though. got some some you know experience with that. But yeah, been there, done that, dude. Man, this is a good good question. Yeah, dude. this is this is tough. You've outdone example. yourself. Thank you. So so one. it, it implies you can't go to jail mm, because you're like, there forever. Wait, 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 interesting, wait, wait, interesting, wait, interesting wait, inference. You just, <laughs> just took a turn. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Dude? Yeah. I'm just saying, if it's somebody you hate the most, like you can you can have some fun with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I was going more of the fact that it's a female. Go on. Get so jail. like, and you don't like her, so you could stand at opposite sides, but come. Yeah, to that's an, what we would do. But come to an agreement when it's time for you know certain mm. things to satisfy you. You meet, and then you go back to your side of the island. No, nah, I took my like, best friend dude, no, all day. You went for the jail. Yeah, all day. So. I'd go. I'd go for the best friend. Male best friend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Male best friend? Yeah, absolutely. Because that's going to be so much more fun for at least a week or two. Yeah, but I feel like... And then if you have to eat one of them... Yeah. You would rather eat your male best friend? Well, so that's... more meat there, buddy. That's where I was going with the police thing. And, like, now I'm realizing maybe (laughs) it didn't make a lot of sense. I'm I'm thinking survival long term, you know? Okay. You... You think there's animals and stuff. Why don't you eat an animal? Oh, now there's animals? I didn't know there was animals. Did you say deserted island? You he ever did. watched Castaway? He did. He was trying to crack open a coconut with an ice skate. Yeah, right. And his, he was there with his best friend. He couldn't catch the fish. He was there with his best friend. Yeah. Wilson? The cream of his coffee, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So best friend, best friend. What do you think? I'm going to have to agree, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's hard because you can go the whole, do we repopulate and yeah. you know, settle our differences? I was leaning towards um, the female, the opposite sex. Why? I don't know. I just don't. Tell us why, Jerry. I, you guys know why. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Tell us why, Jerry. Tell uh, us why. I just, I, you know, it, it would be, it would be a lot of fun with your friend, but I think that would only go so far. And then you could, you could uh, repopulate, or you can like create, repopulate, sorry, create more people. You know, right? Exactly. So you could start and just create a community. I also I feel know, like that's, if a, good, a, lot of, that's, that's not, a good point. If you're stuck kids on an are island, to take care of. Like, how much of differences do you have to have to still hate that person is for what, the rest of your exa- life? Exactly. So you hate them, but when you're on there, it's like you you can you could figure it out. Listen, at the end, a month in, you're going to hate whoever's with you. you that, I was thinking that, too. Because you could be stuck there with your best friend, but you'll probably end up hating and, him, too. And yeah. at this point, you have uh, female companionship. All right, Jerry, you convinced me. Because I don't, it does. Well, I, I don't want to cuddle one of you. I mean, maybe you. Know. All right, I'm changing my, I'm warmest. Changing my he mind. He is dude. the warmest. He yeah. is the warmest. <laughs> All right. So that was my question. You actually changed my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going the woman I hate the most. Let's go. Okay. So that is um, that is all about you. So that is our segment. Thank you, Brian. Good job, Uh, buddy. That was a good bit, dude. They're going to hit hit the uh, applause button. Do you want me to get back into um, that three times already? My my Celine Dion song? No, please. There's one more verse. No, I don't. Larry's taking it. Yeah. Sorry, is this where you do the ad reads? You're done. Yeah, I really need like a hymns promotion for the for the rod and the hair. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys got one? Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, um, Jerry, we're Chelsea get 15. we're getting to that, but for now, Jerry uh, 15, dude. don't forget about our new <laughs> UHL Heritage Series. Uh, we have updated the those fall those team hoodie or the fall hoodies to include all teams now. So check out the UHL shop and use code UHL five for five dollars off. Your team's on there. If not. Reach out to us directly with the contact form, and we'll get you up there. So, Hody's alive Got for the cold weather, today, just in dude. time. I know. Fantastic. I saw. Jeez. Love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely uh, take part in that. Get myself one of those. Thanks. Debuting on the pod. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm trying to help you out. I got a Hawks one. I already made a Hawks one for myself. Oh, I just go out and get mine. Is that in the mail? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh. Beavers on there. Okay. Of course, beavers are on. Beavers are like the first ones on there. Yeah. 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 We have a lot of beavers. I started with the rusty division because you guys are the best. Yeah. For sure. Sub, dude. Um, I worked my way up, obviously, for obvious reasons, because you guys are the best, man. Appreciate it. You guys Lowest the in the rankings, but number one in our <laughs> hearts. <laughs> All right. I wanted to also jump right into what you have to say. You charities? Yes. You oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Charities. Figures. All right. Figures yeah. Steve forgot. Yeah, he doesn't care about anybody. Um, I'm just kidding. He's busy it, with the camera, dude. This, no, this was <laughs> this to give him credit. I know we give him a lot of, uh, you know. Our time, but this was your idea. Um, one of your 
many ideas. <laughs> uh, but the one that we, we yeah, came together. Um, so uh, you charities, we've talked about uh, partnering with Nemours uh, Children's Hospital in Wilmington, Delaware, which um, Brian works for, actually. And that's how we got our uh, connection there. So Quinky dink. Yeah. So um, obviously the holiday season is coming up. And we are pushing, we're starting a new campaign, we'll call it, uh, Dusty Claws for a Cause. Clever. Clever. Beautiful. Dusty Claws. Dusty so, with a Santa hat. Dusty with a Santa hat, beard, and a... You know, Big sack dude. Yeah, a little <laughs> jacket. Absolutely. Um, so, like I said, uh, this is for uh, the Ch- uh, Child Life Program. So this program, we're going to talk a little bit about it, and then I'm going to get uh, the perspective from Brian, who works there and has seen it firsthand. Uh, we haven't actually been there. I'm going to visit next week to drop off the check from the golf outing. Um but we have been in a lot of discussion, so we're going to work with that. But uh, this program promotes the use of play, preparation, education, and self-expression activities as a way to normalize the hospital. Right. So their team of certified child life specialists are skilled at supporting the child and their family during a stressful medical event. So during the holiday season, like I said, the U crew would like to continue to help support this cause and put together our first annual Dusty Claws for a Cause. All right. Let's go. With everybody's help out there, our goal is to donate as many gifts as possible to Nemours Children's Hospital to keep all the children from tots to teens uplifted and entertained during even the most difficult hospital stay. So I emailed all the captains. Um, again, another shout out to Rusty. Three out of the five Rusty um, teams have responded and said that they will... Uh, Participate. Yeah. So I'm very excited Thanks. about Participate that. Participate in what and how? So the I asked all um, the captains to uh, donate at least one gift. Yeah. Um, I shared a link. Nemours has a Amazon wish list um, with their gifts. It's very easy. Just one click away to send it to your house and then bring it to um, the Flyers Training Center. We will figure out where we're going to put all the gifts or when to bring them. Um, hopefully, you could just bring it to your to one of your games and we can have a drop right. off there. Like a box yeah. Or something. yeah. We'll have yeah. a box or something there. You just let me know. Um, I would appreciate if you guys just reach back out, let me know that you're interested in um, donating, participating yes. in all this. Uh, and it doesn't have to be one gift, but the gifts range from $3 to a hundred dollars. So gotcha. whatever you guys donate will be helpful. will help, uh, you know, lift their spirits. Uh, the deadline's going to be December 8th. Okay. Cause we want to, uh, you know, bring, uh, deliver the gifts before the holiday season. So before Christmas and Hanukkah. And, right. Um, so that is our goal. Okay. So first step, respond to your email, email come together yeah. as a team, decide what you want to bring, bring Absolutely. it to the flyers training center. Yep. Um, we'll have a box set up. Yes. Yeah. Um, look for, dusty and then, and Santa then, hat. yeah, you are going to be doing dusty Santa hat, some sort of we, promotion. Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to, we're going to keep going with this. Um, it's still early. I just sent this out maybe like two days ago. Okay. Um, so that's why I haven't heard back from many. Yet. No, I got you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to make some social media posts. We're going to post a little, uh, um, some, you know, promotional stuff like yeah. you were saying. And yeah. So we'll respond keep, we'll the email, them. come with a gift. We'll have a box for you. Yep. You're going to wrap them. So we are going to wrap and put your logo yeah. on the um, on the gift. Yep. So it's kind of a, you know, a thank you to you guys as well. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll put your logo on it and, you know, from UHL team, let's say, you know, the Those Wolves. Players, yeah. yeah, the yeah. Wolves said. Super cool. So. Yeah. yeah. Obviously the Hawks are in for that. Yes, I already put you guys on there. Yes, yeah, I put you on the list. So we have four teams right now that are, yes. are going to donate. So and then maybe yeah. we'll have something at the All Star game. I don't know. We're still talking, but um, it, it, even if we get one from each team, mm-hmm. that's what thirty something. Yeah, games, exactly. Which is phenomenal. Yeah. So um, so that's what that's our next campaign. That's our next uh, right. You know, thing to um help out with uh, the Children's Hospital and. I just want Brian to talk a little bit about it mm-hmm. uh, because obviously you work there, you've been there, you've seen there. Um, you said they have a whole floor dedicated to this program, right? Yeah, they uh, we built a brand new space for them. Um, actually has a podcast studio in it, so we might be able to get you guys in there to do a podcast. That's but sick. it's That'd it's super cool. cool. They have uh, Flyers jerseys in there, um, a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, partnership with the Phillies. I know they're talking to the Flyers about that. Uh, Flyers are winning 
couple too many games though right now. The price has gone up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's an awesome um you know thing to do because these are kids who are in the hospital for the holidays and it it, it, it stinks. Yeah. Um you know we just did something for Halloween where we uh set up tables, we all dressed up, uh had the kids go around. Um and and it's it's really impactful when you have a parent going around and and their child is on a FaceTime because they're not allowed to leave a room. Yeah. And they're like grabbing stuff and they want to see the costumes. And um it's it's something I you know, I got into uh children's hospital from adult health care and you kind of bec- I'm not uh, in a clinical role, so I don't I don't take care of patients. Um but you kind of become disconnected in adult health care. Um and I ended up at Nemours because and I don't know if Steve knows this story. Uh, but my niece, when she was one years old, uh, she got the wrong medication at a hospital, the hospital I worked at. And uh, she she was a chubby baby and just started losing all this weight. Color from her skin was gone and uh, had to rush her to an emergency department. Uh, happened to be Nemours in Delaware. And I went in. It was like 1 a.m. And I'm like, look, I work in a hospital. Just tell me what's going on. I know, you know, the behind the scenes shit. And they're like. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Right. And I remember I go into the nutrition room and uh, there, these two nurses were like in tears. I'm like, why are these like some workplace drama? I need to hear this gossip. Yeah. Like these hot chicks talking about some shit here. <laughs> <laughs> and they were talking about my niece. Yeah. Uh, they were like, how do we go t- tell this mother, you know, my sister at the time, like that uh, medication that they gave uh, my niece who is 15 months old at the time, like it totally shut down her pancreas. Wow. Um, so, you know, now she's 13 years old, uh, type one diabetic uh, lives, you know, dependent on a lot of different medications. She's a regular at Nemours. Um, and it's just a program. It's the hospital is great. Like you go there and people truly care. Like, you know, you've gone, you've all gone, gone to Disney. Like mm-hmm. it's uh, it's a show. This is a children's hospital, but when you walk in, they want it to be an experience. They don't want you to feel like you're at a hospital. They don't – because they know it's a parent's fucking – sorry right. for swearing. Yeah. It's their worst yeah. day. Yeah. Um, and they want to make sure that, you know, they're feeling okay. They're in good spirits. The kid is in the best spirits possible. Um, and then the child life program on top of that, they do so much to bring joys to these – to the kids, to the families, it, it's and it's not just about the kid who's there; it's about their entire family. Yeah. So it's it's really an experience. It's something that uh, connects you. I mean, I've been there running around, and you get on an elevator, and like a child comes on the elevator who's going through something, and like it's a kick in the privates because you're like, yeah. "Whoo!" It it yeah, it, it, it gives awesome. you like a perspective on life, and and I know that when um, we do these type of toy drives and and these kids get something from somebody who cares because you know the sad truth is you also have kids in there who are all alone they don't have somebody coming in and and checking on them and they're there alone for the holiday so this means the world for them that's what this child life program does for them um a lot of times the people who are these child life uh specialists they're there on the holidays, fully staffed, like yeah. donating time. Not not like, hey, it's a paid work day. No, it's a holiday. But they're there to make sure that these kids have a good experience and feel as normal as possible. So yeah. it's an awesome, awesome group, uh, awesome cause. Yeah, and the other the other great thing that when I was talking to them that they they made an awesome point was that this program touches um, the whole hospital, mm-hmm. meaning like if they have different. Uh, you know, like the cancer or, you know, it doesn't matter what they have. Like you, you could donate to just like the cancer fund, right? So you're only donating to that. If you're donating to this, you're donating to touch, you know, have an effect on all the kids, right? Um, so that's that was kind of cool. It's, it's it's a very broad thing and they really, you know, make an impact on it. It doesn't matter what you have. So. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So Great. that really springboarded from the uh, the annual golf classic, and the goal here is to uh, develop a partnership with the Moors and also work on behalf of all of our teams here. So get everyone involved and make Absolutely. sure your logos are and you know the, the stuff that you guys are donating is you know is, is part of what we're doing. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. so take um, a look at that email. It's um I have the yeah. link on there. Um I also um added the link to the the child uh, life program so if you want to read more about it uh that's on there too but to just one click and it brings you right to the amazon all you got to do is hit add to cart buy and it'll come right to your house 
Yeah. And then you bring it in. Nice. Yeah. Big difference. Man. Love it, boys. Absolutely. Love it. Yeah, awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hell guys. yeah, man. Absolutely. Um, so shall we get into you? Madness. Yeah, yes. Go. Well done, Sarah. Well done. Love it. Love it. Love is it. That, love it. Is that bit like Count Chocula? Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't be? know what that is. It's just madness. He just so yeah, yeah, so. that was off the top. That was off. All right, I'm gonna go through um results from bronze. the bronze division. Yes. Yep. Let's go. So um one versus eight seed, Rain City Pigeons versus Team Dexter Bronze. Rain City got our three vote handicap last week. Um, they finished. Ugh, they finished with seventy six percent of the votes, taking out Team Dexter Bronze. So one seed moving on. Their jerseys are sick. My one yeah. seed, dude. I I love that them. Your one seed. I love their jerseys, um, and they're moving on rightfully. So, Otters next matchup. Two seed going up against the seven seed uh, Camden County Warriors. This was close as we expected it. Yep. Um, Otters ended up with our three vote handicap, but they ended up taking fifty five percent of the votes, and you can tell that, that this was uh, yeah. You can tell there was no um. This was a true like yeah result. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. the, the results were close. How many wasn't... votes came in for this one? This this is this, the reason I say this is because it was it was around the average like one hundred and forty votes. Okay. Um, the, some of the blowout you, you can tell some of the teams get a lot of people involved and that's when you, <laughs> you spring up and you have a lot of votes this one you can tell is right around average the results is like real close so you can tell um that was a that was a close matchup but otters yeah. take that i, I think the, i'm gonna go out on a limb i don't know if i said this last time i think otters could be a final yeah, four team totally Who were they against they were against the Camden County, Camden County, Warriors. County Warriors. oh yeah they had a cool one too they yeah, do have a really yeah. cool one the, the matchup was was yeah, close so Otters are advancing. Next matchup, three seed Plugs Hockey Club up against six seed Moonshine Hockey Club. Plugs got our three vote handicap. Mm-hmm. This one massacre. Um. Uh. Yeah. It was. A, it was a little bit lopsided. But again, we had a lot more votes in this one. People were sharing this one. Plugs. Um, um, yeah. Plugs. Uh, Plugs ended up with seventy three percent of the of the voting and, and are moving on up against, or against Moonshine. So so people like getting plugged, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the grimace. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, in our last matchup in the bronze division, four seed Stratosphere Stars going up against the Dusty Let's go. Beavers. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. I will say the Dusty Beavers did end up with our three vote handicap. Yes, they did. However, wait, what? Because Steve they, put it on no. That's why they took it oh. with sixty five percent of the votes, taking down the Stars. Blaylock was not happy up. with me. I'm yeah. not sure if you saw the reel where I was like, I just got to go with the Beavers, Bro, dude. We, I fucking, mean, we look good while the we lose. The logo's on their the emblem. Yeah, you guys, you guys look, look good. good. New jerseys came in. I know you guys got more planned, but yes, it was look. a good matchup. It was a really good jersey matchup. Probably one of the best ones. We mess with Jerry. <clears throat> like, the Beavers mess with Jerry. I will personally mess with Jerry when yeah. we're out there. He did a great job designing that. Like, Thank you. All jokes aside. They look good. <laughs> they did. They, they look, look good. good. Let's go. <laughs> I was hyped when Beaver. I saw those. Yeah, you know what stinks, though? Because I did the, um, the bracket. I was going to say, who you we, got? We face Rain City. You got Rain City? Wait, uh, how does that work? What do you mean? <laughs> We're so fucked. Next. Oh, yeah. You're you're the lowest seed remaining. We face uh, Rain City. Well, that's it. Yeah. Ow. I got I think I got so, Rain City. Yeah, that's tough. So here's the thing with the bracket moving forward. Do Uh-oh. we reseed? Do we, like, place the seeds, or do we just go with it? Go like, with it. Just go with it, right? Yes, yeah, go yeah, with yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have to. Okay. You like, sent me the bracket. Yeah, like yeah. we don't have to go. The no. number one seed plays the lowest. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. I don't like doing that either. So yeah. just wherever you land, that's where you just keep going. Yeah. Absolutely. But either way, the way it fell is that. Rain the, City next. Yeah, the Rain City uh, for the Elite Eight. Yeah, you guys can pull it off, man. You just gotta, I think so, too. We have a, we have a, show up. We have a strong showing. You guys we, have a great jersey? Sure. Great um, jersey. Strong showing. U, UHL. So... <laughs> I love it. All yeah. right, so now we're moving on to yeah, let's, let's preview the, the final region. Yeah, uh, so I'll put up uh, pictures on the screen. Um, you know, Jerry didn't do too good. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> every, every week. Time. Bulldogs <laughs> every time. So when you guys in the studio here are looking at this, um, make sure you imagine the Bulldogs in their actual jerseys. Wait, right. you in the studio like us? Yeah. yeah so – yeah, talking to you guys. Yeah. So um, they have the Shorzy jerseys yes. now. They have the, the Bulldog logo, but it's the Shorzy jerseys. What color they they maroon are maroon and blue? Light, light blue and brown. Brown? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Colorblind. Um, it's okay. So they're <laughs> <I'm> colorblind. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So they're going up against Dexter Rusty. Okay. 
Um, obviously, one seed was the Bulldogs. My vote would be for the Bulldogs jersey. They're one of my favorite set that are out there. Bulldogs? Yeah, I got to vote for Bulldogs, too. Lair? <laughs> dead hair. Dexter. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, didn't want that to, I didn't want that to be dead hair, but I was actually genuinely thinking, yeah, got bull, Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's an easy one. Yeah, um, that's a, that's a good honestly, one. Honestly, yeah, it's, yeah. Sorry. I wanted gotcha. to bring that up real quick. I know I'm not a dead air, party, but can I mention the Shorzy, like the color scheme sucks, but uh, I like the color. What it represent? You like light blue and brown. I hate I the color scheme, sick. but I think it's super cool. See, light blue happens to be my favorite color, but I agree. Light blue and brown. Not to really go. However, it's different. I was going to say what it represents is super yeah, cool. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Shorzy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Next. Uh, and is, modern. It is. Next one is sheep. First, Night's Watch. My vote is for Night's Watch. I am not a fan of the sheep jersey. Do you remember me asking, <laughs> what is the one? I don't like it. Do you remember me saying, what is the one? Like, before uh, we started, I said, it? what's the jersey that Steve said he doesn't like? And I said, it's a bad take. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is the one. Yeah, the sheep. Yeah, yeah. This is the one. Sheep. You yeah. like sheep? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to throw you under the bus, but like, do you, do you I like the, the sheep? sheep jersey is I fucking like, sick. Do I like You like the sheep jersey? I put it my number two. I love the sheep jersey. I love the color scheme. I like the sheep. I think it's... I think it's all really good. There's a lot going on. Uh, Night's Watch is, is is is. I'm going cheap. I'm going to stick with my number two pick. I really like. How the come sheep. the last vote always comes down to me? Night's Watch. Is well, no, no, Brian, Brian yeah. didn't vote yet. I'm so, not a voter. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. I thought. Yeah, I, I thought he. I thought like he voted. Cheap. I don't get a vote. Um. So I like your Night's Watch is basically the Camden County Warriors. They just have the Night's Watch logo. That's what I was going to say that last week. I don't know if you heard me pause in the, yeah. when we were talking about it because you had them up side by side, but they look. Identical, similar, just different. Yeah. The Kings jerseys. Are yeah. you guys going to talk about the uh, the uh, spotlight? Because what you guys watched, because that did make their jerseys look really cool. <laughs> yeah, know, they right. looked really good in that. Yeah, check that out on YouTube. Yeah, Rob um, Sella. So I got Night's Watch. You like sheep? I do like sheep. Come on, Larry. Mm-hmm. I actually mm-hmm. love sheep. I love, love sheep, jerseys. dude. I do love sheep. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah, the three yeah, vote. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, sh- I should have said people will, will vote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. should have said you were. I'll go with Night's Watch. Oh. Really? I got out. Wait, so, so do you not like the sheep jersey? I like the sheep jersey. I think they're a little bit high in the rankings. Oh, no way. Really? Yeah. So no. are you on Steve's side when he says they suck? I no. <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't think they not. suck. I just don't. I just something. I, the for, the, let me, I'll, for the record, I like sheep's branding. I love their branding. They're yeah. all over social media. Right. I like their colors. Yeah. I was going to say the color awesome. scheme is super cool. Yeah. I think there's a little bit, there's a lot going on on the jersey. That's what I what love. Do you yeah, it, it's not it's a lot going on. It's just fucking sheep. Yeah, it's a giant sheep, and it's got the the you know the sleeves, the numbers on the side. Is the, sheep a yeah. singular or plural? Both That's plural. Well, so one sheep is a ship. No, Sh- it's a sheep, sheep, no. sheep, <laughs> no. sheep, and sheep. It's both. All right, so Night's Watch uh, takes that. One. Oh come on! All right, so uh, next one I'm is disappointed. I'm, I'm Isanos. Oh. <laughs> Isanos. <laughs> versus the South Jersey Sharks. Uh, put some sauce on it. Uh, yeah. Definitely, I like both. Ooh, this, this is, is this is tough. a tough. This is definitely a tough matchup. Um, the tough. Sharks ones are sick. I like the. Have you the seen team. the Paisanos black jerseys? They're sick. They're too. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna give it to Paisanos. So wait, are you guys going the off white? The off white jerseys. I'll put a but maybe I'll put both if we have pictures of the black ones because the off whites are dope. Um, yeah, yeah, I like them too, yeah, and nice. it's. The fucking the, chef. And he's mixing the pot. With the with, hockey stick? Yeah, that's cool. And they have a uh, UHL logo on the yes, shoulder. Sir. So Absolutely. that's kind of a win for me. Like, personally. They've got I fans would, who wear their jerseys, dude. I know. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going with Paisanos. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I got to go Paisanos, but the Sharks have... They're sick, too. The coolest logo. Yeah, one of the cool. coolest logos. And color scheme. I like, yeah, I like yeah. the color scheme of the Sharks better. But I like the overall jersey of the Paisan. Yeah. Yes. Paisano. Can I ask a it dumb question? Like so since I don't know a lot about hockey, admittedly, and like I have no fucking style, if they put shit on the shoulder, would that have been better for you? I guys? think they do. Don't don't they the sharks have something. Any sharks have shoulder, something. But Jerry is not very good at taking picking pictures. Oh, okay. Um <laughs> they have uh I think it looks like like an like S, S or yeah. I, I don't know what's on the other side. I'll yeah. find Oh, it. those are cool when you when you uh zoom in. Yeah, I mean I'll find the uh I'll find a better picture because obviously yeah. I didn't do I'll post picture. it up and you'll be able to, you know, judge Whoa, for Whoa, look at this. Uh, I think Paisanos I, I think they Paisanos win. are gonna go far. 
I think um, they're going to advance to the next round too. Yeah, they, those are good jerseys. So, well, and they've they've got a pretty good fan base too, right? Yeah, so like, a real big fan base. Yeah. Uh, Moose versus Jersey Trash. This is going to be a tough one too. I think Not for they're me. reversible. They are reversible. the Moose the jerseys moose are reversible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're really cool. They get some points. The the guy who um, so I know this because of one of the learned to skate things I play. He owns a sunglass company, and they made these jerseys. And uh, they brought them to one of the uh, the learn to skate things, and they were all trying them on, and they're reversible. They're really fucking cool. Are they stitched? I don't think they're mm, stitched. But no, they're sublimated. Yeah. I know exactly what Steve's going to pick, so I'll let you go, Jer. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go moose. So I thought. I I like the moose. I already know what you're <laughs> going with. I'm he, going, he's I'm going, going with the trash. trash. Yeah. 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 yeah, is it the shore Jersey Shore trash? Or? No, no, this, this one's regular Jersey. This trash. is straight up trash. Uh, <laughs> trash is one of the OGs. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that. What kind of this fucking is, bit is this? Dude, this is straight up trash. Straight up trash. I got a soft spot for the OGs. Yo, honestly, Steve gives you a lot of shit every week for picking bad pictures. This is bad. That was a terrible picture on the moose. On the moose's yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I, I'm having a very difficult time. I'll zoom in, maybe if you zoom seeing, in, uh, what's going I don't on think there? There's any fixing that. It's um, pretty bad. There's dude. some. You um, got the moose. I was trying to get like the sleeve. They have stuff on the side. Yeah. They got the mountains on the socks. I know the socks oh. don't matter. Oh. <laughs> what? Hold on. So can I ask a question? Do moose have nose? Because that's what throws me off. Uh. Yeah, it's got a pretty big nose, dude. Yeah. That guy's got a schnoz, dude. Dude, if I had antlers, that'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> And he's so angry. It <laughs> took Larry like three seconds. <laughs> that was a delayed laugh. All right. Yeah, let's, let me put it this there. way. It's Jerry's got moose. I do. Steve has jersey trash. Again, I love the moose logo. Jersey trash jersey is a staple in the UAHL. That has nothing go to trash. do. Let's go. Dude. You I mean, it doesn't decide. matter because, no. listen. It's it a really cool logo. Here's, here's the thing, though. Moose have a pretty big following. Well, what the, how, does it ma- how does it not matter? Because they, it, it's not about the staple. It's not about how long they've been in the league. It's about how nice it's, it is. It has nothing to do with how long they they've been in cool the league. They're jersey, sta- they're, 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 they were, like, unanimously picked as having the best jersey in the league, like, you know, when we first started. Yeah. Best jersey or the best logo? Best jersey. People love their jerseys. Yeah. It is a cool jersey. I, I talked a lot about the moose because I know it, but yeah. jersey trash is. Hey, maybe if you pick sick. a good picture the for the moose, uh, you know. Well, Steve's going to get a better one. And, you know, the, the great thing about this is they both have uh, pretty big followings. Yeah. So that's going to be a good matchup. The um, trash, definitely. Yeah. I know the trash, too. I don't. Well, good thing I have um, two accounts that I can vote for the moose. Yeah. It's like. Uh, <sighs> Point point three percent of the votes. What's your burner um, account? You use the dusty beaver. The dusty beaver. Yeah, use a dusty beaver. Every account. now and then he logs in and I do the on in. I try. So guys, this is the last this. of the first round matchups. Yeah, this That's is the last region. Check it out Monday through Thursday on Instagram mm-hmm. stories, and then we gotta the, yeah. update the bracket and update get it going again. I'll probably we'll probably do bracket? every other day going. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, for so. the next round. Yep, so. for the voting, absolutely. Lead eight. And we'll do um, every region again. And then once we get to the final four. How's that the Elite Eight? It's a Sweet 16, isn't it? Is it Sweet 16? I'm sorry. Sweet 16. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. You said that earlier. What is happening? <laughs> what is, what the hell, is, this, dude? is this your bit, dude? Is this your bit? Are you chopping like a beaver right now? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. All right. Anyway, uh, Sweet 16. Snap into a Slim Jim <laughs> and cheese. And cheese, dude. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, man. I totally lost my train of thought Yo, there. Me too. But uh, anyway. You're right. Sweet, so you're right. Sweet 16. Um, so we'll go. But here's the thing. Are we going to do uh, two regions? Because each, it's only four teams. No. Nah. You know what I mean? It's only two matchups per region. One one region per week. All right. We'll go one region. According to your schedule. Okay. That's fair. All right. And then Elite Eight, Final Four. That's how it goes. Well done, sir. All right. Players of the Month. Uh-oh. Go ahead, Larry. You don't want to get involved in this podcast, Steve? No, he's, he's not feeling good. <laughs> bro, bro. Did you stop? Will, will, you, will you do me a favor? Will what? you do me a favor? Pull up, can you pull up the stats? Because I have, I have who we got on for players of the month. I just want to, you know, oh. throw some stats to go with it. Can you, um, uh, yeah, go, f- go through it? Or yeah. go uh, announce it? Yeah, I'm going to go. We'll start, yeah, we'll start with the gold here. Uh, Sean Lippincott on Night's Watch taking... Uh, the gold division player of the month. Let's go. Congrats. You went a 10 a zen. Do, um, yes, sir. He had uh, <laughs> eight goals, seven assists for 15 points in five games. 
Might as well. Three points per game for uh, Sean Lippica. Yeah, he's That's a beast. Pretty good. That's pretty good. He's a pain in the ass to play against. Yeah, he's giant. He's a, I know. like massive human. <laughs> Puts Jared at shame. He, he got us is, he bigger, the, is he bigger than me? In the <laughs> Winter Classic tournament last, uh, yeah, it was tough. Playing yeah, so he it, lit us up. It's very difficult. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, moving on to Silver. Well-deserved here. Put them up. Put the hands out, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Nico Corsaro. Corsaro. Put some sauce on his name, dude. That's it. Corsaro. I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I did no, pretty good. He did good. Yeah. 14 goals, 4 assists uh, um, for 18 points in 5 games. Great yeah. month. Great month. Great month for Nico. Yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, he got Paisano a couple wins. Or so. Yeah, I would say. Uh, yeah, one game he had like five goals, I think. And then against us, he had four. Dude, he uh, is uh, he's a beast. He turned Lair inside out a couple times. No, nah, that never happened. Oof. I saw him play in uh, that <laughs> Stars uh, championship game. He was he was sick. Yeah. Was, yeah, I saw him too. That yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Bronze plus. Bronze plus. Kevin Magnin from the Knights. Yeah, he had an overtime game winner, I believe, too. Uh, eight goals, two assists, ten points in four games. Beautiful. Awesome. Where are the Knights at in the as, in, as far as the standings go? I think go? they're first. Yeah, they're in first. So. Yeah, so uh, they're definitely killing it. Kevin sure. Magnin letting it up. All right, Bronze. Team Dexter stand out. Yeah. John Schallenhammer. Uh, I think he had nine goals and one assist. Great name. Shallon I was going to say Schallenhammer is a fucking sick name. Yeah, that's good name. Yeah, sorry. It's not loading, but yeah, it's great. Great okay. name, great see. name, great player. Yeah, and for the rusty division, yeah, I'm excited about this one. I think this one's well deserved. And I, like you say, you always love giving it to a a goalie. There it Lucy? is, Greg Roth, Good. Moose Hockey. Yeah, consolation after you guys shit on their jerseys. I did not shit on their jerseys once. Mm. Steve did. I did not. I didn't say anything. I Steve just picked hates the, the trash. Moose. That's it. Steve hates rusty. Uh, <laughs> he's four zero in October. Got a shout out. I got shout a shout out. One point four seven goals against ninety five percent save. Percentage. He's leading the he's pretty good. All he's leading all goalies on the stat sheet. That is pretty good. Yeah, I he gets like their uh, moose hat of the the week, right? Yep. Mm. Like every week, he's right. sick. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. Good job, Greg Roth. Until this Sunday. <laughs> Congrats, dun, dun, uh, dun. players of the month. Yes, Serge, the recap at Sean Lippincott on Night's Watch, Nico Corsaro on right Paisanos, Kevin Magnin <laughs> right on, on the applause, Knights, John Schallenhammer on Team Dexter, and Greg Roth. Tell them what they win. Hockey. What you guys want get? a $50 gift card to the UHL shop. Go grab a hoodie. There, there you go. go. Beautiful. All right, All right, fellas. I love the U. Now, um, you know, we've been here bullshitting for a while. I do want to get, cover the rest of the league updates. All right. For those listening who are waiting through all of that nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah. Well, not all nonsense, but ready. <laughs> we are ready. All right. Yes. Yeah, Gold division team twenty four seven beats Armada twelve to one. <laughs> Savage monkeys beat Night's Watch in overtime four to three. Uh, Ryan MacArthur had the the game winning goal for the Savage monkeys. Nice. Uh, Silver Paisanos. Uh, unfortunately, beat the Hawks eight to four. Oof! What a game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Laylock got two goals in that game, huh? Laylock got two goals. He actually had a really good game. He's he been playing really he well. Him and Tucci past scored. Few games. Tucci scored two. Larry scored Larry got one. one. Nice. Uh, Larry had a really nice goal. Just not enough. Um, <laughs> not enough. Nope. Coast to coast for Larry. I saw that one. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, every now and then. Uh, Bulldogs get their second win in a row. Yo. Five to four over the Multi Ducks. Uh, that helped us out in the standings. Because multi ducks are right behind uh, us. Oh yeah, holy shit! So uh, that was a really close game. God damn. Yeah, tough. So um, game of the week was Rain City Pigeons versus Team Dexter. Uh, so I want to go on record. I remember I said it was it was going to be six five overtime win for Dexter. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. Uh, honestly, uh, Rain City. And a miss. Yeah, Rain City dominated uh, for numbers, I, right? I did. most of the game, if not for the wrong team, all of it. Uh, we do have a video on YouTube. Uh, that is Game of the Week, Rain City Pigeons versus Team Dexter. Do you guys want to watch it now, or do you want to just refer to the YouTube? Go to the YouTube. There's a cool All right. breakaway goal in that one. Yeah, yeah. Ross had it. It's a lot a, of good shots. Yeah, in the beginning. he That was like the within the first minute yeah. or so. Uh, He's freaking fast. Turnover at the point and, you know, one-on-one. Yeah, I mean, why don't we pull up at least a couple of them, if you, if you have it open or if not, let's move on. I have the. Dude, uh, that's two minutes. It's longer than a lot of. No, just, yeah. Put I will. I'll just throw the first goal because this yeah. is the one Ross. Uh, you know, bounced a little bit, and then Ooh. Ross gets a nice goal. Ross versus Robbie Mangini. 
So I, I thought he lost it there at first, and then he, he yeah, freaking he roofs it. Put it yeah. upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I actually thought the same exact right? thing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Ross Bryan, which is M- uh, was an MVP runner up, yep. yes, sir, against the uh, spring summer season MVP. So that was a pretty decent. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, nice. yeah pretty nice decent breakaway. Okay. Uh, this is a nice give and go between Ross and Kyle. Uh, they have obviously a lot of chemistry. Yeah, they play together all the time. These dudes are. Uh, I think uh, Ross like those jerseys too. Yeah, yeah the jerseys are sick. sick. Ross ended up with um, I think six points, and Kyle might have had four or five points. Yeah, so they're, they're usually they're out there together, and they're pretty tough. Uh, when we played them, they were the reason why we kind of uh, gave it up at the end there. They are a, a problem indeed. That was a shitty goal. I was trying to figure out what happened there. Yeah, it was just like a scramble in front of the net, and uh, they got back in it. Was, I mean, they made it 2-1, to one, Yeah, um, which, you know, they had a chance to get it back, and then pretty much... Uh, Oof. Pretty, is, this, yeah. is this my... Uh, this is the one I pointed out? The snipe from yeah, the point? Yeah, this is a great goal. You can cut it out after this one. No, this is... Diff- that was, was a save, save by yeah. Robbie. Yeah, he had a nice glove save. Yeah. But there was a nice. Uh, they had a lot of turnovers and, and really capitalized off of that. So yeah, uh, is this that song that's like "Take Me to Church"? <laughs> this is like Adobe stock music, dude. That I had to pull up, pay for stock it. Music, you know? Well, you can't like if you put it on yeah, YouTube right you'll here. Get, uh, like yeah, no, they do like a um, uh, redirect. So watch Cohen right here, and Ross gets a stick on. Uh, right oh right wow, there, water so. body. Yeah. So uh, if you want to see the rest, uh, yeah, check you know, check out all of it on YouTube. On YouTube, published up. Uh, yeah, along with all previous games of the week as well. So going forward, well those done, will be up. Correct. And that was a new 4K. A new Quality 4K improved. Camera, yeah. Yeah. The new camera, so let us know what you guys think. Yeah, it Do wasn't that. in the greatest spot. It was in the penalty box, but, uh, you know, not that bad. Not yeah. that bad. I can see, like, I'd say, like, 80%. In the yeah. ring, you know, yeah, the, yeah, we'll get better. The left side is a little tough, but you gotta tell them, dude, like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you <laughs> uh, Otters beat the uh, sheep hockey seven to three. Uh, that was a crazy game, and I'll tell you why because I was there, right? Uh, 10 50 at night was the game start, yeah, brutal. <laughs> Otters somehow still had like 16 guys on the bench, yeah. I don't understand, <laughs> like, it's 10 50 at night, I can't Go, even get really. eight guys yeah. at a fucking eight o'clock, and they get. 15 at I love it. 8 for the end. Anyway. Uh, Stratosphere Stars beat the Warriors 9-5. to five. Um, Koopas. Man, Koopas get a, Hello. a needed win um, against Moonshine. The undefeated Moonshine? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, uh, come on. Oof. Moonshine is uh, sliding down the standings. They're holding on to that last spot. They got the, they got the last uh, playing spot. Yeah. And Koopas, after that win, are one point behind them. Exactly. The Knights Let's beat uh, Jersey Trash, uh, 62. Player of the Month, Kevin Magnin, scores two goals in that game. Sure. Uh, just because I want to loop to um, bronze plus standings just because it's so close. Uh, the Knights are in first at 7-1. and one. Yeah. The Thundercats second, 6-2. and two, Pretty much uh, pretty close all the way down. So all the way down to the seventh seed, uh, they get a win and they're into the playoffs. That's crazy, in the spot. So... Um, you know, really, really close, man. It's it's crazy. Um, I, I don't know. Really who's, I really don't know who's going to make it. I know. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday. Um, do you know off the top of your head when that Stars and Moonshine game got rescheduled to? Later in the December. It was, yeah, it was December, yeah, right? Or that, that could like, end up being important. Yeah, it could. Be. Um, so we'll see when that loops around. That I was can't wait. Be game of the week, but, <laughs> I can't wait. Um, so down to bronze. Um, we still obviously have some games uh, going on tonight. We have two games tonight. Uh, Sir. So, the one that did play was last night, and the Camden County Warriors beat the Team Dexter Bronze again. They like to beat Team Dexter Bronze yeah. for some reason. Team Dexter got a hard is. time. Uh, oh, I missed the. Uh, did I to say the Thundercats beat Tropics? No, no. Uh, so Bronze plus th- Thundercats beat the Jersey Tropics nine to four. Um, S- so is tonight Jersey Tropics last season's Hellhounds? Kind of. Yeah, yeah they, of. they took like a few of those guys branched off. Um, Someone to the Thundercats, don't didn't they? Or no? No, that was from Sheep. So. Oh, Sheep, Sheep. So we have, we have like these teams that are kind of branching off and making their own team. So that's that's cool really for cool. us. Um, so yeah, that's uh, awesome. For Bronze tonight, the Plugs are playing the Recyclers, and Chugger Knots are playing the Sugarbush. So starting in T minus one minute. I'm about to Is say it? it's coming okay, up. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it's close. Um, the standings look completely different from last season. It's Really neat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chuggernaut's still holding on to that first spot at 6-1. and one. Team Dexter Bronze is in second. The Sugarbush third. P- 
Plugs are in fourth. Um, it's you close know, as well. Camden County is making that push back. But again, like if you look at even their cyclers, two and four, five points, they that, get a win. That whole division's in it. Yeah, they get a win yeah. tonight, and they're ba- they're in a playoff spot that quickly. Incredible. Um, I'll loop back to um, Gold. 24 sevens in first, Savage Monkeys in second, Night's Watch in third, Armada's in fourth. Yes, sir. Um, that one's, you know, I'd say probably the two and three seed could move around, right. but everything else is uh, pretty set, yeah, I yeah. would think. Um, Silver is really tight as well, especially with, you know, Bulldogs making a little push again and Paisano's getting a few wins here. Um, Rain City pulling away. Rain City pulling away. Um, unless. Unless next week. You know. <laughs> unless. Uh, so Rain City's in first at 7-1. and one. Team Dexter 5-2. and two. Hawks struggling right now. Uh, <laughs> we're holding on to that bad. third spot. It's got but, us uh, down bad. 3-3-1. Three, three uh, we definitely need a win bad. Uh, Paisano's moved up into playoff position. That's yes, interesting. And they're both one point behind you guys. So Exactly. Hawks uh, need to. Yeah, we, we need a game. We do have a game in hand. Um, so, you know, we gotta, we can get, you know, we gotta get some wins here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we had a little bit of a slide here. Paisanos versus Rain City would be a very exciting semifinal because <laughs> they're agree. fast. Both teams fast. Both teams really, uh, skilled offensively. Uh, that could be an upset. You awesome. Know? I man. don't know. Um, so multi ducks, you know, just, just missing on that last playoff spot by gold differential, uh, Bulldogs putting together some wins, you know, they got four games left. You know they probably got to, yeah, yeah. They got yeah. they got to get some wins. Anything can happen. Anything they're they're can within happen. striking range. Exactly. So <clears throat> Hawks can't be messing around here, man. You guys practiced today. We did. Yeah. We did hold a team practice. Pretty much. Yeah. Team and practice. Uh, we needed it. Yeah. It was like you know closed door locker room meeting. You know what I mean? No coaches. Fucked me all up. No front office. <laughs> you know, just the players. Yeah. One yeah. Beaver fucked me all up. <laughs> Celine Dion playing in the background. All right, do you guys want to do the rusty? Do we do the rusty review? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say roll right in the rusty. No, let's do rusty review. Uh, so we had a great. I'm trying to get it going because we're on 106, man. I know. I was just gonna yeah, run through it. You're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Wolves Moose had a great game. So two one overtime win for the Moose. Close game. Close game. Yeah. Um, they won an overtime. Was it uh, overtime? Overtime or a shootout? Nope. Overtime goal. Uh, it was. They both scored in the first period, second and third, nothing. Wow. And then Tyler Hubert scored in uh in overtime. In overtime. Wow. And then the who was the next game? It was Dexter. it was Dexter. Oh, you have it up. Okay. <laughs> Dexter uh, did something to the They Narwhals. steamrolled them. Yeah, wow. they, did, they did something there. Yeah. So Bunch of old, look at uh, Brucey coming on. And wait, Dick so is Carson. this the game that uh, Steve Carson the Carson was the goalie? Yeah. It, wow. I think he had like twenty nine saves or something. Did he really? Yeah, I didn't even did know. pretty good. That's like, awesome. Griff, Griff had three goals. Yeah, Griff did well. How about uh, Griff? All these old beavers that Jerry yeah, that's the Carson away. father and some yeah, combo. Yeah, the, the Carson combo. Yeah, they they, uh, they, they keep did well. scoring. So they do. Uh, Moose Hockey still holding on to first. Uh, Team Dexter Rusty is in second. Both same amount of points, um, but Moose have two games to make up still. Um, don't don't shake your head. <laughs> Rusty Wolves in third, which is surprising. Um, but again, they still have you know a couple games. Uh, they got a game in hand over for Team Dexter Rusty. Love it, maybe uh, two for the Ooh. Narwhal. So Narwhal's holding on that last spot. We don't need to talk about the last uh, one. Dusty Beavers in last. Well, we were well. laughing because if you pull up the standings page, all thirty-one teams, oh, you no. go from top to bottom. At the very bottom is the Dusty Beavers. <laughs> Out of thirty-one <laughs> teams, yeah. dude, I yeah. hate losing. Uh, yeah, that's tough. Dude. It hurts so good. It what is hurts. there like a you can actually sort by like the whole? No, league? just like that page. Uh, right. Do it. Don't Scroll show all people. the way down. Don't show people. There they are. Beavies at the very bottom. Minus seven though. That's not a bad goal differential. It's for not one and five. It really that's why is it our that's, goalie? That's what I'm saying. Phenomenal. So our goalie. You is guys are in the games. Yeah, James is very good. But mm-hmm. here's the problem: we're just not putting. Yeah, we're not scoring. <laughs> We're yes. not putting pucks in net. We're not scoring. He's got you guys the second will, you guys least aren't chipping pucks goals against. You guys have the second least goals against. I know. The one seat. Every game is a close game for if us. If Mark would show up, you might get had we some need, wins. It's we not need, Mark's fault, though. Yeah, we, need need a little, we need a little offense. Yeah. So, if you got some offense, yeah, you guys could be, you know, get some wins. You guys still have six yeah. games to play? Yeah, we, yeah, we. Yeah, it's that we odd Dude, we're going to be out there straight six. beaving, dude. Bro, you guys, <laughs> you guys got plenty of opportunity. Get some wins going. Yeah, we got plenty of opportunity. Beavers be beaving. God. Yeah. Jerry will miss at least half. We'll step it up. He's got vacations. <laughs> Bethany Beach. I do have vacations. Oh, uh, okay. Are you really missing more Beavers games? No. 
All right, let's go. All right, boy. All right. Spurs, All right. Um, we did allude to it before. Game of the week uh, last week was Rain City versus Dexter. Uh, Rain City ended up with that win. Next week, we got Koopas and the Stratosphere Stars. Yeah. Yes. So right now, uh, Koopas and the Stars are tied with eight points at six and seven. So this is a big uh, game for them. Yes. Big two points for one of these teams. Yes. 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 So uh, good jerseys, too. Great jersey matchup. Yeah. Green, Great green. jersey matchup. Right? Shit. Is it? What'd you say? Green, green? Tell? Is it? It's like yellow and green. Yeah. Koopas, right? Mm-hmm. Did Koopas stars are green. in there? Dark green. Madness. Dude, you know what's interesting? Stars? Not anymore. Koopas. Oh, Koopas are in there. Koopas yeah, won, Koopa yeah. won. What? Okay. So on the site right now, you got Moonshine and Stratosphere Stars scheduled for November 6th. It's on site. Is that when they got rescheduled for? Yeah, possible. Because that makes everything way more interesting. Um, because depending on how that game goes. Oh, okay. Depending on how that game goes, that Stratosphere Stars and Koopas could be even more. That is a, you know uh, what I mean? that is a makeup game, yeah. Yeah. So. So, yeah. Awesome. That, that definitely would make things interesting. They get to play two games in a week yeah. for the Stars. They may be a little tired. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe a factor. Could Maybe. Be. So are you but we will playing be there. with them? I won't be. No, not. I have to do the game of the week, so I can't. <laughs> uh, we will uh, be attempting, hopefully, to live stream this game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys should be. You could, if you're at home, you feel like watching Stratosphere Stars versus Koopas at nine thirty <laughs> at night on hey, a Wednesday. Big I mean, implications, dude. Get Who wouldn't? There. Who get in on there, man? I guess Koopas. Watch it live. Are you guys shitting on that? Like what? The comeback? <laughs> talking about that? No. What do about? you mean? What do you mean? The when's comeback. Your, dude. When's your comeback? I don't know. Is, is that <laughs> on the napkin? <laughs> it's all the napkin. I'm not going to say it out loud, though. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be quick. Me and, uh, so we had Hawks practice day. I got it's a on good, the napkin, dude. Chill I up. got a good skate in, and uh, I'm going to uh, make my return on Tuesday. Oh, boy. Versus Rain City. So I picked the hardest Yeah, game that's tough. That I was about play. to say, that's a tough yeah. comeback. But but we, I, we need I, you though, Cap. Yeah. Hawks need something. Stickies? Love it. Yeah, sticky. <laughs> Maybe right, something man. else. Oh, uh, I was hoping. I was hoping. Bro, just pack triple zins. <laughs> you oh, guys okay. are in. Right, right. Yeah, I definitely got to have a nice warm up zinny. Yeah, need it. <laughs> a, Car- a Tucker Carl's in, dude. All right. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, Boys. It's Tuesday. Damn. Yeah. Listen up. It's time for Liars Look Ahead. All right. We're now, listening. we're listening. And as always, brought to you by our Rusty Division sponsor, GSW. Don't forget, if your teams are looking for a style upgrade, these guys specialize in custom design uniforms and clothing and are helping us take our team shop to the next level. Check out the team shop. There's been updates there, and we've had plenty of teams reach out to us regarding custom apparel. Everything's customized. Um, it's Everything's customized from the jerseys to the hoodies to the hats, all the good stuff. Um, use the former, use the link in our bio to uh, sign up for early access on that. I'm going to keep this short. One thing, content packages. Go uh, to our YouTube channel. Check out the team spotlights that Rob Sell has been able to put together, full length, like three or four minute videos, uh, you know, spotlight in each team. Um, those are available on our website as well. So that is it. Right. Now, commissioner's notes. <coughs> Sorry. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to repeat what we talked about last week. So, uh, all star game, November 25th at 7 PM. We got, uh, our events guy on it. We yep. got a lot of cool stuff. We got the agenda and confirmed. Yeah. We got the agenda. Yeah. The agenda is made. Um, it is in fact going to be two and a half hours long of, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's long. Bring, Pack. Bring your friends, fun. family. Get butts and seats. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have giveaways, contests, uh, some on ice uh, entertainment. Yes. Uh, the shop is gonna be up. We're going um, possibly fifty fifty. It's yeah. uh, there's there's it's a lot of things. It's an event. It's an event. ISG event. It's an it's event. Be fun. Um, I don't want you to get that away from me. Well, uh, so the, the yeah, a, lot, a lot going on. So I think next. Week we may have to pick the all stars next week. Yeah. I'm down. I yeah, mean, it's got it's got to be like ASAP. Yeah, so yeah, because we got two weeks after that. Let's so it. yeah, it's week. coming up quick. All star selections. Yeah. Uh, I gotta next get to work. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, also, I got a couple hey. texts. Sorry. Hey, that's how we transition <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm, I'm really. I'm very sorry because you mentioned doing yeah, doing like, live on uh, game of the week next week. Yeah. ASG selections. 
I mean, we should consider we should consider possibly Ooh, going, going live. live. We can do live. Sorry, I don't mean to put you on blast here, but perhaps something to consider. Well, we Stay should, tuned. We should maybe we'll do all right. Maybe some, make it its own thing. Maybe make its own thing. We'll tell them, hey, at this time, okay, we'll do. Uh, yeah, do. Live I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, we'll probably do. We'll probably, <laughs> that was me having an idea. Sorry, guys. we'll probably do it on Friday before we do the podcast. So oh, it'll probably be like Friday around Ooh, that'd be cool. uh, seven o'clock or something like that. That'd be really Ooh. cool. But we'll figure. It. We'll we'll confirm. Larry will put it on Instagram. That'd be sick. Uh, or on our socials. Great there. idea. We'll figure that out. I'm on it. That was my idea. <laughs> yeah, here Steve, we go. Steve, great idea. Yeah, on so. air, thinking of it. I know. But just like on that. On the fly, dude. Right? I know. That was amazing. <laughs> I amazed myself. Dude. Yeah, you and Brian are a good I, team, man. Yeah. I amazed myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anyway, before I was rudely interrupted. Sorry. Was, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. It was a good one, though. Winter Classic 2024, mm-hmm. February 16th through the 18th. Winners of each respective division. Hopefully, we have a bronze division. Um, we definitely may have a rusty division because oh, I've been hearing a lot of rumblings too. that they're in. Okay, from a couple teams. What so. do you need for right? Yeah, for rusty, we need. We four, might be able to get, get some more. from other ranks. Correct. Okay, so we will maybe all, potentially offer that. We can also um over forty divisions in other ranks. Mm-hmm. You know that would, say, that would apply for rusty yeah, for like C and D level. Let's do it. Um, winners from each division get flyers tickets for their whole team. Uh, among other things, we probably have a bunch of other stuff we'll we'll give out. But uh, you know, it's a uh, pretty cool man. Love I'm really me. excited for that. It was really fun last year. So um, yeah, that's it for me. Awesome. Again. Yeah, and uh, that's it. That's it from the U group. Uh, make sure you guys rate, leave a review, and share the show. And please send over feedback and input, um, either with the YouTube comments or on the Spotify Q and A. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to shout you guys out like we did Carol earlier. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I got, boys. That's yeah. it. Just want to thank Brian again for coming on. Um, Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Probably won't come back, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Love you guys. All right, boys. See you. Peace.